Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got super, super excited and motivated and inspired by a couple things that I saw on Instagram this morning. And I'm literally just sitting down with a cup of coffee this morning and I wanted to film a quick video for you guys because I think this is a topic that is out there so much right now. And I want to give my positive and just uplifting message that's like in my head 24 seven to all of you watching because I think right now this time of the year is like a high point for comparing yourself to other people and feeling as if you don't have enough, feeling as if you can't provide enough for your family or your kids or yourself for that matter. And I think that the negativity that comes with this season isn't talked about enough. And I wanna give you a message of inspiration, positivity, and just to remind everybody out there, whoever's watching, that you are good enough and the universe is just bountiful. Don't worry about what other people have and don't worry about what you're lacking. When you focus on those things, you're never gonna be happy. So that's kind of like the gist of my message today. I'm just gonna be like talking off the cuff, just telling you a couple things that are always, you know, rolling around in my head just to kind of hopefully give you a positive kick and just kind of set your mood for the day and be that positive light in your day. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. <laughs> okay, so it's November, Halloween's over now becomes what I think in my mind is the most happiest time of the year. What a lot of people go into this time of the year thinking is how am I gonna buy gifts? How am I going to put food on the table? How am I going to work weekends when I wanna spend time with my family? This is the busiest time for my job. I'm gonna be super, super stressed. So as much as it's happy and it's fun and Everywhere you look, there's Christmas decorations, there's toys, there's sales, there's all of this stuff going on. But I think a lot of people feel burdened by this time of the year too. And it also doesn't help with platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everybody is showing their highlight reel. So they're all showing you the best of the best times of their day, the best part of their life. And I think that can really weigh on people as well, especially in the era that we live in, which is social media, everywhere you look, on your phone 24 seven, it's just in your face. So what I'm here to tell you is, I never ever compare myself to other people, ever. You know why? Because I sit down every single day and I think about all of the things that I'm grateful for. Every day, every day, all day long, I'm thinking about different things that I'm grateful for. There's gonna be hard times. There's gonna be things in your life that are tough. There's things in my life right now that are very tough that are going on. You cannot focus on those things. The more you focus on those things, the worse they're gonna be, the more bad things are gonna come, the more bad things are gonna pop into your mind. It's just the way your mind works. So instead, you need to focus on the things that you do have, focus on the things that are positive and happy in your life, and situations that have happened to you that are great. Think about all of those things. That's what you should be focusing on. And when you see these things on social media, I know it's hard, believe me, because you see people who are showing off gifts that they bought or showing a haul of all of these really cool Christmas decorations. And yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> and things are expensive. Every time you go to the store, every time, every time I leave my house, I'm spending money. Whether it's just on gas, even if I'm going somewhere to pick something up for free, it's you're still spending money. And I know for a lot of people, especially at this time of the year, it's a hard thing to wrap your head around because you're seeing other people with all of this so-called abundance and you're seeing other people with what you want or what you wanna have, but you cannot focus on those things. So I want you to make a promise to yourself, at least just for 24 hours, do not compare yourself to other people, do not envy other people, don't even think about what other people have or what they have or they don't have. Don't even let those people come into your personal space. Those people are just showing you their happiness. When people post things on social media, they're not trying to upset you. So obviously they're not. People are just trying to show their lives and be happy and actually probably project happiness. 
but when you take those things and you get envious about them, it gets turned into a, like a negative connotation around those things. You can't let that happen. Instead, you have to think about the things that you have, that you're grateful for, things in your life that make you happy, put on a positive, happy song that you love. I love doing that. That always gets me in a good mood. I have a couple songs that are my go-tos where if I'm feeling down, I put them on and they pump me up. They get me so happy and that is a perfect way to kind of get your mind back on track. Music is a great way to do that. I highly recommend that if you're feeling down or feeling low or just feeling inadequate in any way. Definitely try that. But also to make a list of all the things you're grateful for. Read that list over and over and over again. Add to the list. Um, tweak the list. Just, you know, do what you need to do to get yourself in a, in a headspace where you can be happy with where you're at. And I promise there will be more good things that come your way. It's just a matter of getting on that wavelength and that frequency first. And then believe me, good things will happen. Just don't let people online get to you, especially at this point. I know it's hard and I've seen so many videos online about people who are saying, I need to give up social media because it's making me feel too upset. And maybe you need to do that. I mean, that is a little extreme and it would definitely be a good detox though if you are able to do that and just be off social media for a few days, a month, a couple weeks, whatever you need. That would be great, but unfortunately, it's everywhere. It's even on TV, it's on commercials on TV. You're seeing everything right now, encouraging everybody to spend money and if you don't have the money, it's probably the worst feeling ever. So I think right now, before you even get to that place, I know it's the beginning of November, but before you get to that negative place in your head, if that's where you tend to go, you need to just sit down and get in the right mind mindset. Just think about the things that you do have. I mean, I think all the time, you know, there's people out there who have these huge, big mansions and all this property and all of these things. And to me, I mean, I am living in my dream house right now. So to me, I just have to sit back and be like, all right, like I have that too. They have their version, I have my version. And you might not be living in your dream house at all, but can you afford it? Are you able to live comfortably? So it doesn't even matter how big or small the thing you're being grateful for is, you could just be grateful that you have a roof over your head. We are so lucky to be living where we live and just to be in a house that is keeping us safe and warm or cool in the summer. I mean, those are like little things that we sometimes take for granted. I think a lot of the things that I take for granted, I put on my gratitude list because all of those things, running water. I literally got water from my fridge the other day for my son and I was holding him and I was like, thank you for this water because so many people in this world do not have clean water to drink. It's just something that you don't even think of, but when you think about it, you're like, wow, I'm, flippin' lucky. I'm lucky. I should be grateful for this. And when you think about that, like the stupid person on Instagram who just showed that they did a Bath and Body Works haul like with 15 candles, like <laughs> it seems silly. It seems so silly. But these are the kind of things that I think we forget about. We forget about being able to have a hot shower or being able to go to the grocery store and get everything we want. Go to Walmart or Target Superstore. You can get a sweater, a toy, ground beef, um, cleaning products. I mean, what else can you get from there? Oh, decorations. You can get everything in one place. Like, that to me is mind blowing. So you have to think about the things that you do every day that you might forget are there and just be grateful for them. I mean, we have live in so much abundance and it's not all about money. Don't focus on money. Don't let money be your primary focus. When I was a couple years, uh, a couple years ago, I was focusing a lot on money and I was like, I need money for this. I need money for that. I need, you know, money is the end all be all of everything. It's not. Believe me, it is not at all. All. There's so many other things in life that you can have abundance. You don't need money specifically for it. The feelings of happiness that I get from my family, money can't buy that. I mean, be thankful for your spouse, be thankful for your parents, be thankful for your siblings, your kids. Oh my God, like every single day I'm so thankful. I look at pictures of my husband and my son on my phone and I literally sit there and I could almost cry because I'm just so happy that I have them in my life and that they're healthy. A couple years ago, I went through um, some pretty traumatic stuff and it was a hard situation because when someone in your life is really sick, 
you wake up every day with that pit in your stomach. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know how the day is gonna end. You don't know if something really bad is gonna happen. You're kind of teetering on the edge and almost every day your emotions are just like right on the edge of like breaking. You're right there. And to me, I think about that all the time, all the time. And I seriously think to myself, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, think Hopefully, I am not in that point of my life anymore where I am so on the verge and on the edge of like something really bad happening to a terminally ill person in my family. And to me, waking up and not having that pit in my stomach is enough to just make me in a really, really good mood and be really thankful that everybody is healthy that I'm dealing with right now in my life. Everyone in my family is healthy and my dogs are healthy. I mean, it sounds silly, but you take these things for granted. You have to just sit back and everything that you take for granted, make a list of it. Because to me, you forget about these things until something bad happens. And then when something bad happens, yeah, it sucks. It's bad, it's bad. And then you get overcome with negative emotions. So right now, while nothing bad is happening, I like to sit back and just say, everybody's healthy, I'm healthy, everybody's happy, and just be thankful for every single person in my life. And I think that is a really great place to start if you're looking for kind of like a positivity you know, one-on-one, -on -one, like where to start. I would start with your shelter. I would start with anything that you use every day. It's so silly, but it's thankful for your car. Even if it's a beater car, I was thankful for that car. And believe me, I've had, when I was younger, I did have these cars and it got me from here to there. The gas was cheap. I mean, there's so many different things. Did it have a dent in the side of it? Did it have a like messed up hood? Probably, but it did what it needed to do and it got me where I needed to go to get to my job, to get to school. It was just, it's just those kind of things. You can't always think about the negative things of a situation. Yeah, there's always gonna be negative things. There's always going to be negative things. So that's never gonna go away. So once you get that out of your head and start focusing on positivity and poppy positive things and things to be grateful for in your life, I promise your whole mindset and your world will change. And I also think that when anybody shifts their consciousness from negative thinking into positive thinking, even if it's just a little bit, you're gonna see a change. It's actually scary, the changes that you will see. It's It happens quickly and it's amazing. <laughs> so I just wanted to take this little bit of a time, me rambling, I just have all these thoughts in my head about positivity and I don't share them enough. I share them enough with my family, of course, but not enough with you guys. And I think that people out there in this world of social media need to be more positive. There's way too much negativity. There's too much negativity down in the comments sometimes of certain videos. There's way too much negativity in just the judgment that people have over other people. And I want to give a message of some positivity to be a positive light out there because I think we need to have a shift to more positivity and yeah, the internet just needs more positivity in general. So that is one of the things that I intend on doing on this channel is just kind of doing brain dumps like this where I just tell you what I'm thinking and maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't. Hopefully I motivate somebody out there and lift them up and maybe somebody out there really needed to hear this message but I know that I did at one point and I always wanted someone to be telling me these exact things so that's why I'm sharing them with you today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy positive speaking videos of just me talking, I would really encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I'm doing everything on here for my lifestyle, which is including mommy life, some positivity, some cooking, some cleaning, just everything and anything that is going on in my crazy life. If you're interested in low carb recipes, that's my other channel, so definitely check me out over there as well. But with all of that said, I hope I really hope you consider before you go and judge other people or before you look online and see something and be envious that you just take a step back, remember that you have so much abundance in your life and you just need to shift your focus onto those things and you will be in a happier mindset and a happier place in your head and in your life and everything will get better. So before the holiday season starts, I hope you get your head straight, get it in a good place, get positive, get happy, and it's gonna be an awesome end to 2019. So I hope you guys stick with me, hope you subscribe, but I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye everybody.